as we start dropping this data sets into a fields that time we need to be more cautious what type of visualization we gonna create it through a pivot table okay that's really important that's the key before we begin that let me just give you the quick round of introduction about i'm just hiding this So now you could see this pure table fields available for me. This is the data that will be aggregated. For example, some count those kind of formulas we use it in this functionality over here value section. Now rows we can keep the values in rows or columns and filter is basically we can filter it out what type of data we are including. Okay, so let me just insert this date over here in rows then product would be in column cool and then sales is in a sales uh, values particularly correct you could see at sum of values right i'll just do a scroll at the right hand side cool like this and the filters suppose there are different different regions added then i can add a region so when i click here I just want to see a north that time I can see it simply cool if I want to see west I can see it that as well likewise if in case I want to see all simply just click here select all and then just hit ok you could see the data available over here there is a no restriction to keep a date like this or maybe the product like this ok you can play around it you can keep the product like this or maybe you can keep the date next to the product okay or maybe you can keep simply date over here right and your product would be available over here cool if in case you are not happy with this you can simply just keep this dates over here and then you can keep this regions at the fields yeah if in case you are not really satisfied with this as well okay simply keep this region in filters keep your quantity over here right how much quantity it is then you can see that desk chair 200 cell and what type of quantity is there so there is a so and so quantity cool so this is how you can play around with the fields in a uh, pure table in next section we're gonna cover basic operations how you change this row labels to a specific header which is available and so on and so forth 